Hold it. Gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. Oh, very good. I won't forget what you did here. A man's pride can make him do crazy things. Excuse me, mister. I'll be damned. Spread his love today. You're going to make me late.
use some help, partner. Name's Errol Hewitt. The damn Bollard gang's stolen my family's herd. I gotta get them back. They're all I got. been causing us no end of problems around here. There's more where that came from! We don't have all day! Come on! you out with the herd. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh.
Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey! Come on, now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with them. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. There's too many of them. Come through. We'll drift down river. Oh, my good Lord. You got it all wrong. It's not me. I should have probably mentioned there's a bounty or two out of the head. Let's go with the river. They'll have to stop chasing us for this. We lost on that box to the back. Much for a warm Mexican welcome. Watch it. 
so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, they big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. Oh, that porky? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Shite! There's more fools behind that rock! Oh, God! 
that cliff! They're shooting down on us! It's just me and you, oh, partner! times. You'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. Heads up! There's two more! Oh my God, friend! We made it, thank the Lord. But we glad to be getting out of that floating death trap. Oh, these horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, I saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played tray card stud with him. Or was it Four Card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. <laughs> So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one.
What have we got here? Might as well. Now take a look at that!
Now this is more like it. That's more like it.
Yeah. Oh, Lord, this is nasty. Last still. <laughs> What a coincidence. Welcome to Nuevo Pariso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. <laughs> For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. John, go. Are you not the man I your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you.
tough one, ain't you? something searching around the belts for a few plants I'm light on. Here's the deal. Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plants wins on the bet. What the hell? I'm in. That's one. you so long. Con el otro. No interrumpas, pendejo, la deja en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Qué no, ¡Cállese, mejor? güey! Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Mm. Pardon, pero. Yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla inglés? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. If you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. Very big. 
I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. How many things? Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <clears throat> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. <laughs> Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? <laughs> Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, <sighs> just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time.
Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I have to say it. Señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, por favor, señor, our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, señor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. They are. Follow me. Toma tiros. A ver si te pego en el culo. Gracias a Dios, me salvaron la vida. Keep your eyes peeled. You bandits don't give up either. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. There we go. That's one. Oh, 
What do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come eat, drink, and then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you have heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are... Confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American. An outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. Ya caballito, aquí nomás. Vamos, caballo va. Hold on tight! We're in a hurry! You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering. 
uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the Colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man? Or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these animals you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. It's being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I thought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is going to seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're going to look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor, a liar, a coward, and a cynic. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I look this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. 
We're going to go squirt. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw that rat out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting. So! Yeah! Get up! Follow me! We must escort it to Casa Madrugada. Come on! Come on! Come on! We're watching you, amigo. I get any idea.
Compadre, you did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. ¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! Dios mío. Ah. ¡Levántese, perezoso, que se va que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. ¡Todavía, levántese! Ay, ¡Usted joder, también! Ya, ¡Y allá atrás, muévase! ¿Qué les pasa a usted? ¡Ay, Dios mío, levántese! ¡Ya mismo! Ah.